Hello everyone, welcome to Let's Unbound and in today's video we are going to discuss another question that came as a 4 marker in Math Kangaroo 2024 exam for grades 3 and 4. So let's get started with our today's question and it's a very interesting question, question number 14. So the question is, Lucas wants to make a caterpillar that has a head, a tail and one, two or three puzzle pieces in between. How many different caterpillars can Lucas make without flipping the pieces over? So we cannot flip it over. We cannot make any mirror images. We cannot uh, rotate the pieces any which ways. Okay. We just need to combine them together so that we are having a unique caterpillar. So always remember, we are going to start with, I have given the numbers to these pieces. One, two, three, four and five because there are five pieces, right? Now, if we see over here, so we always have to start with the face, right? Because the caterpillar needs to have the face and this is going to be our last because here is the ending, the tail, right? So it always have to start with number one and it has to end with number five, right? Now in number one, if we are going to start with this face, this is having a curve, right that means after the face we can either attach number three or we can attach number four with it right let's only focus on number three for now right now if we are attaching with number three so it is having a rectangular thing that means after number three we can directly put this tail right or after number three we can have the second piece because the second piece is also having this rectangular thing which we can combine together and it will get attached over here right so if we are having number two after the third piece what will happen we need to have another rectangular piece to get attached that is the tail fifth one because it is also having rectangular piece over here right so so far we got two combinations one attached with three and five this is going to make one caterpillar next can be one three two and five can you see here it is always starting with number one that is the face and it is ending with five which is the tail after that we are done with three right we are done with this three now let's go with four let's say after this face the first piece of the puzzle we are attaching the fourth piece of the puzzle because it is also having the curve curvy thing which can attach over here right so if we are attaching four so four is having this curve again that means we can go with three right we can only attach number three over here because no other piece is having this curve Right? So number three is only going to get attached with number four. But again, if you will see, if we are attaching three, so we are having two options. We can directly end with five, that is the tail, or we need to attach two, the second piece, and then the fifth piece, that is the tail. Okay? So these two other type of combinations are there, wherein the fourth piece is also there. Okay? So how does the pattern looks like? One, four, three, five. And then again, one, four, three, two, five. So we are able to make four different types of caterpillars. It's all about visualizing how it is going to look like. So in these types of questions, start with the easiest thing and finalize that. Okay, here I know the first piece and the last piece will stay the same in all the patterns. Only now the middle things will get changed, right? So we got our correct answer. That is option B, four. I hope it was a good question. If yes, don't forget to like the video and I will see you in the next video. Till then, keep learning. Bye-bye.